What's up, guys? It is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time joining me at this awesome channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on any how to tutorial with dealing with Windows 7 or Windows 10. So today's video is all about this guy. So I have a machine or I had a machine at home that was receiving this particular problem. Now, I'm a believer that you need to keep your machine up to date because security patches, critical patches, whatever kind of updates that Microsoft is pushing out will keep your machine healthy. So I was receiving this particular error in one of my machines at home. Um, and I was like, what to do? I did the basic troubleshooting as an IT person, right? Uh, basic troubleshooting is disabling the Windows services, deleting the software distribution folder, restarting the services, let that folder recreate itself and try again. I did that. I did everything, rebooting, going inside the registry and editing and nothing. So I did a little bit of Googling and apparently this is an issue. As you can see, Windows update cannot check for updates. Error message when you try to install updates. That's what I, I got. Uh, it's happening within Windows 8, Windows 7, as well as Vista and XP, which is really weird that they're giving you a uh, a troubleshooter for these two old platforms. So I downloaded the Windows 7 version one, right? I double clicked on it and you get this nice little kind of troubleshooter. So I click next. It's detecting the problem, it's checking the register keys, is resolving the problem, all green check marks, no problem, right? This is basically doing what I already did, which is stopping the Windows update services, deleting the software distribution folder, and then restarting the Windows update services. And then it's just basically checking for any corrupted registries, right? So I closed it. I go back inside my Windows update and I check for updates. And again, I get this. So first try down. So the second try. Second try, I do more research. And apparently there's a particular update that you need on your machine. And it's KB310-2810. So I said, okay, let me download it. I download, I clicked on it, searching for updates. I didn't have this update, so I said, okay, there's, there's probably an update that my machine did not get, and this is why I'm getting all these problems. So I click yes. It's installing. It's a good start, right? Installation completed. I rebooted my machine. I go back into Windows updates, check for updates, and boom, same damn problem. So I'm like pulling my hair. It's like, what's going on? Why is this happening to me? So that's number two. So the third one, keep in mind, like I told you guys earlier, I did this the very beginning. This is the basic troubleshooting. So I said to myself, let's try this again. So I stopped my services. I basically go inside services, locate Windows updates, right click on it and just stop it. I go inside the C drive and locate the software distribution folder and I delete it. Now you could delete it or rename it. It's up to you. And then you go back inside services, locate that Windows update service and click on right click on it and then click on start. The services start restarting, which is a great thing. I wait for it. Software distribution folder is there, which is another good sign. I go back. I click on check updates. Now, this is a good sign to me. But again, I've have I have seen this before and it was like forced advertisement and then I get the error. So I waited. I waited and I got this. So I was super happy to get these updates. I clicked on install and it started installing. I have almost a gig of uh, updates to be pushed out to this machine. Now, again, it took me three times to get this up and running. I can't believe it took me three times. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you out. Three steps to try to get that error to disappear in your machine or to start getting updates on your machine. I think the ba the basic thing is to just go within Windows services, stop it, delete or rename software distribution, restart your Windows updates. That's like the basic troubleshooting. And I've also seen that a lot of people try to do it multiple times until it kicks in. So you could do it that way. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.